Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Canada. Lunar Phases Title. The Lunar Phases Mystery Once Upon a Time, in the heart of Canada, lived a young and curious astronomer named Jacob. Jacob was fascinated by the mysteries of the universe, and his interest peaked when he learned about lunar phases. He had an undying curiosity to uncover the reasons behind these changes in appearance of the moon from Earth. Jacob belonged to a small town called Whistler, known for its snow-capped mountains and beautiful scenery. However, what intrigued him most was not on Earth, but up above, the moon. One night while observing through his telescope, Jacob noticed an anomaly during a particular phase. The crescent moon appeared larger than usual. Intrigued by this abnormality, he decided to delve deeper into this mystery. Jacob started recording observations meticulously every night for several months while referring back to ancient astronomical texts at the local library in Vancouver. He discovered that indigenous cultures like Inuit and First Nations people used lunar phases for navigation and tracking time long before modern calendars were invented. This revelation made him wonder if there could be more indigenous knowledge about lunar phases yet unexplored or forgotten over time. So he set off on a journey across Canada, seeking wisdom from elders within these communities. In Nunavut, Inuit elders explained how they used different shapes of moon as guides for hunting expeditions or predicting weather changes in Arctic regions where other navigation tools were not reliable due to extreme conditions. In Saskatchewan, Cree elders told tales passed down generations which intertwined with their spiritual beliefs related to lunar cycles symbolizing life's cyclical nature, birth, growth, death, and rebirth again, hence giving them deep spiritual significance. Meanwhile, back at home in Whistler, based on Elder's wisdom and his observations, Jacob started noticing patterns connecting those anomalies with climatic changes happening locally, like unexpected snowfalls or abrupt temperature drops during certain lunar phases, which were usually considered normal otherwise. This discovery was groundbreaking, potentially enabling better weather predictions and preparation for climate change. Jacob shared his findings with the scientific community, who initially were skeptical but eventually couldn't ignore the evidence he presented. His relentless search and respect for indigenous wisdom led to a new understanding of lunar phases in relation to Earth's climate. Jacob's story emphasizes how sometimes looking back at ancient knowledge can help us move forward, shedding light on mysteries of our universe, yet unexplored. And so, in the heart of Canada, a young astronomer named Jacob not only unveiled reasons behind lunar phases, but also bridged gaps between modern science and indigenous wisdom, all driven by his.